I'm going to show you how you can redirect to a formula URL after an Airtable form. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com, and I will add a all to this in the description. This is a tool that requires a pro Airtable account because it requires the redirect functionality of an Airtable form. So the redirect functionality of an Airtable form right, normally just allows you to go to a static URL. So all of your users would go to the same exact URL. With this tool, you can choose that to, to allow your users to sort of be redirected to a different URL based on what they inputted into the form. So let's go through a simple example here. So this is too simple to like really be that useful, but we thought we'd show it anyway. So let's say I put my name here, and then I select uh, whether I'm a student or a teacher. If I'm a student, I am redirected to the sort of uh, some guide for students, right? And then if I do this again, and I select instead, so let's just say this, and then I select teacher and I hit submit, I get redirected and I'm directed to a teacher's guide. So that's that was like really simple. Uh, that's still a useful example, but we wanted to show a more advanced example because this is one of our most uh, sort of powerful uh, extensions, we think. So in this example, the user will be redirected to a success message if let's say, so let's say the request is I need help and then they select their email here and they hit submit, right? So they're an existing user, they selected their email, they get redirected to a success message. Cool. So what if they weren't an existing user? So let's, de let's do the same thing, I need help, but let's not choose an email because we don't, we don't like our email is not on here, say. So let's hit submit, we get redirected. And then the cool part here is we got redirected to a form that will allow us to add a new user. And notice how this was set up to be pre-filled because the redirect mechanism is a formula. In the formula, we just you know pre-filled the form uh, with the record ID of what just got created. So because of that, you know th this could be a super powerful extension. So we just wanted to show that demo to show what the possibilities are. I'll show you now how you can set up the uh, basic example of this. So this is what you would see. Uh, start by filling up your user API key and then choose your base here, and then choose your table here. After that, choose the redirect URL that you want your users to be redirected to. So I'm gonna go side by side here to make this simpler. Um, so let's go like this. This is the table that I'm using. Um, so if you notice here, the redirect formula is the formula URL that's being used here. And the redirect formula has conditional logic in it that will uh, send to a different URL based on the field, uh, the, the field that is called type. So if you're a teacher, you're sent to the teacher guide. If you're a student, you're sent to the student guide. Um, so once you've filled up the extension settings over here, you can click save, and then you can click on this little settings icon and you would copy this redirect URL. I would click right here and I will use this as a redirect URL for a form. So I created my form. And I will click, sorry, that was my mistake. I will click on redirect URL over here and then I will paste that URL and then click save. And then once I open this uh, form, now it's completely set up and I can choose teacher or student and I will be redirected to the appropriate URL. 